everyone. So welcome to the next veg vlog. So I'm making a soup right now. Please excuse my look. I just washed my hair, so that's good. But then I'm also just wearing a Hootie and the Blowfish t-shirt. Did I wear this in the veg vlog that I posted the other day? I feel like I might have, but anyway. All right, I turned my music down for you guys, but got a little St. Lucia going and my poor Band-Aid on my finger. But anyway, this is a recipe that I got off of Pinterest. I've just screenshotted it here. I'll maybe try to link it down below, but this is a mushroom soup. So basically what I've got here, I'm not following the recipe completely. Sorry, my white balance is all off. Got basically a little less than three-fourths of an onion. It says to use one whole onion. I need this for something else though, so I'm gonna save it. 10 stalks of thyme. Got that right there, all ready to go. Then it said to use only one cup of vegetable broth. I'm just, I used this vegetable broth base or whatever you wanna call it. I did two, and then I'm also gonna do two cups of this. I want my soup soupy, you know what I mean? So, I got a lot of that. My mushrooms back here, these are just Baby Bella. It said to get two packs. Again, I felt like that was too much, personally. <clears throat> I'm gonna use some unsweetened almond milk to make it a little creamy. And then we've got some soy sauce here, it says that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this recipe. I don't completely know what I'm supposed to do yet. All right, sorry for the additional noise now, but it says to let wet quote unquote for about five minutes all right next it says just to add the mushrooms so it honestly wants this to sit for quite a long time but with fear of it burning to my pan i'm gonna kind of speed up this process um i'm gonna go ahead and add in the time now and I'll see what else I'm gonna do. All right, I just added the broth and it got rid of that godforsaken sizzling sound which was scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> so now I'm going to add a dash of this because it says to, it's, or it says like liquid amino. It was like liquid amino or soy sauce and I was like, well I have soy sauce so that's what we're gonna use. I'm not gonna measure this. I think the reason for wanting to cook the mushroom so long is because this isn't the sort of soup that you're gonna bring to a boil necessarily. Um, oh, I almost forgot, I need to add I'm gonna add two cups of milk. Oh, look at that shaky hand. So the mushrooms might be a little not completely cooked because I did what I did, but honestly, like, you know, follow the recipe if you can, but I'm just playing it safe. This is also supposed to have like tapioca starch in it. I'm not doing that, so it's gonna be a much brothier soup. Basically though, I am just gonna let this probably sit I don't know if I should cover it. I'll leave it a little covered, a little, a little ajar, if you will, just so it can warm up a bit and then I'll eat it pretty soon. Got some explosions in the sky going in the background. I'm adding some pepper now. I can't remember if it called for pepper, but I feel like everything could use a little pepper, you know? All right, sorry, I'm in my room. It's a little dark, but here's the finished product. Okay. Ooh, fogging up my glasses. Mmm. Hot. Okay. Mmm. That's good. That broth especially is good. I'll leave the link down below to the Pinterest blog post, whatever it is. And I will hopefully, probably definitely see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone. So I just got back from Des Moines. I, it's very exciting. I booked my flight for Copenhagen. It's just like becoming more real. Got my passport renewed. I'm just like, Oh, I'm just so happy right now. But anyway, while I was in Des Moines, my parents kindly gave me some stuff from their garden and then I also made a quick stop at Whole Foods. So I was just gonna show you what I got. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring my reusable bags with me, but um, I told my mom about that soup I made. So she was like, well, Tara, we have a ton of fresh thyme. So this is awesome. She gave me a bunch of thyme. I'm probably just gonna keep this in the freezer so that way I can just toss it into soups. Um, I don't usually garnish with it, so that should be fine. Fresh made salsa by Mi Madre. She does a really good job, so I'm very excited to have that. I'll probably be using it in my recipe tonight. And then, just from Whole Foods, good old quinoa. This is the brand I like because it's pre-washed. I don't like the fact that I have to buy it in these stupid little boxes all the time. I know that's not the best for the environment, but, and please pardon my mess right now. This has been like a really bad week for me. And then I got this peanut butter to try, but it's just, sorry, this stupid thing is in the way. It's just this, uh, one ingredient, peanut butter. I don't know, it's whatever, guys. I am going to follow very roughly a recipe from Rachel Cooks. If any of you guys watch Rachel Whitehurst here on YouTube, her and her boyfriend on their YouTube channel, they'll do Rachel Cooks sometimes. 
and they have this thing where they do like a quinoa Mexican salad type thing. So it's gonna have quinoa, avocado, salsa. So I'm gonna use my mom's salsa. Any sort of beans that I have. All right, so we've got one cup of quinoa. Here's two cups of my veggie broth. And just dump that on in. You can toss in some sriracha at the very end of this too. But yeah, so I'm gonna start getting all of my gals together for this recipe. Soy chorizo from Trader Joe's. It's the same one that Chris and Rachel used in their video, so I, I trust them. Pinto beans, also from Trader Joe's that I decided on. I'm gonna drain my beans, because I don't always do that. <laughs> drain my beans. Okay, wow, Tara. We've got a real chef in the kitchen today, guys. I'm just gonna rinse these off a bit. Put some cumin on. And they also did cayenne pepper, I believe. <laughs> and a little bit of this guy. So now I'm just gonna warm up my soy chorizo. But they said just to put it on like a low, medium heat. This is very interesting. I'm trying to get my money's worth here. See if you can make some magic happen. I think I'm also gonna warm my beans. <laughs> Warm my beans, guys. All right, so I am just gonna pop on some quinoa. Then we're just gonna do some beans, some chorizo, got some avocado here. Attempt to make that pretty. Not that skilled at what I do, but I try, and that's all that matters. Pop some salsa. We are gonna pop on some sriracha. Just over, maybe just the beans a little bit. And real quick, a tip I read online yesterday about how to preserve avocado halves that you've already cut. Just put it in a container with an onion. Ooh, that pit, that pit. Oh, yes, maybe. I think we can get it to work. She's on. So we'll see if that actually works. If it does, that could be a great little tip. But yeah, in case I haven't shown it enough, here's the final product. I am going to do a taste test. A plus. This is seriously so easy as well, and I feel like this is gonna fill me the heck up. I'm very excited about this find, guys. I think this is amazing hey everyone quick little pop in i have removed my avocado from the container but i think it did a pretty good job i also real quick wanted to mention that this time around when i made my avocado pasta i only used half of an avocado because it's all i had and then i put in some unsweetened almond milk and this i feel like is going to get me more of a if you can tell more of a liquidy sauce so here's the outcome it's a way lighter smoother version of just doing completely avocado it works pretty nicely it tastes just about the same just a different consistency and another thought i had after i just started eating this sorry i'm not showing myself right now i literally look like crap i only did one clove of garlic this time and whereas last time i did like three or four things of basil i probably or leaves of basil i should say i think i did five this time and i like it if you don't like things as garlicky that's another way to do it today i felt like making a soup so that is what i'm going to make again although i think i've shown you guys how i make a veggie soup before i guess it's slightly different this time this is a lot i am realizing it might not all fit we'll see what we can get to work but basically this is just my veggie bouillon or whatever veggie broth base and four cups of it i think i'm just gonna go for it guys we're just gonna put the whole thing in I kind of want a lot this week just to have it made. All right, so I ended up adding three more cups of broth. So we've got seven cups, I guess, in here now. So I'm also going to take about 10 sprigs of fresh thyme. And then here's some oregano as well. I might sprinkle a little bit in, as well as some pepper. We're gonna wait to salt the soup because I remember an awesome quote from The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. You should never salt your soup before you taste it. And I think those are great words to live by. <laughs> all right, we've got our thyme all separated from the stems. Some oregano, pepper, lots of pepper. I'm just gonna let this warm through a little bit longer. I'm not actually sure how hot to have it on. It's a little above medium right now. I'm sure you guys will let me know if that's not right, but whatever. Also excuse all of the dishwasher 
marks on my poor Ikea pot. He has been through the ringer. All right, just took it off the heat and as e ooh, hello. And just as easy as that, it is all done. Here it is, all finished, still steaming everything up. I'm a big soup person. I don't care if it's still like 80 degrees outside, I will enjoy a cup of soup. Hot. It's hot, <laughs> obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased with myself. Sorry if I look shiny. It's really hot in here. I need to turn my AC back on, but but anyway, I will see you guys later this week. Hello everyone. I'm filming on my iPhone. I have literally just finished editing the veg vlog you just watched. It was actually a conglomeration of a previous week and this current week, but I'm just combining them so I can get caught back up because I'm starting to kind of lag behind. So it's not going to look any different on my YouTube channel to you, but that is why the last clip ended as if I was going to be continuing into a next week. Like it just sounded weird. So anyway, that is it. <laughs> Thank you guys very, very much for watching this veg vlog and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Still